What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to WWE 13, the Attitude Era Relive, whatever the, mo the mode's called here in 13 on the PS3. We have 25 days remaining until the release of 2K19, so let's relive the Attitude Era, shall we? You are about to relive one of the greatest and most influential eras in all of WWE and sports entertainment history. An era that was creatively forged by Vince Russo and defined by a new attitude. And after quite a long video package that I can't show because YouTube, here we are with the rise of DX. And as we know, with most things, history is written by the winners. Shawn Michaels, Mankind 97, win the match, but also hit Mankind with a chair and win by pinball. So here we are on this fine Monday afternoon. It's a new week. Yes, it is. And obviously Shawn Michaels kind of been in the news lately, having been on Raw last week. And the rumors he'll be having a match, perhaps a tag team match with Triple H against The Undertaker and somebody else in Saudi Arabia. In November, that's kind of the current rumor, so I guess we'll see if that actually ends up coming true in the next uh, two months or so. Anyway, anyway, back to this uh, 2K19 business, if you will. We have the fact that uh, they have another entrance was uploaded onto the 2K Games channel, and it was the Velveteen Dream. So they've been kind of uploading all the ones that we had seen clips of during the roster reveal. And this is the first one where I don't have any complaints. Like, I don't have any nitpicks, I don't have nothing. It looked good. Dream looked good. The entrance looked good. The effects, the music, the smoke looked good. So, I have no issues with that. But, there was something else yesterday. As they continue their Twitter campaign of the ratings reveal, right? Where we get to see the in-game models for the first time in 2K19. And that's cool. And they uploaded the Bludgeon Brothers, uh, and had, you know, their little thing there, and they misspelled Rowan, as in, Eric Rowan. As in, how do you, do you not have somebody who works there to proofread this stuff? Like, that to me is the most annoying thing, is that so many of these, just, you know, small problems, that can also be, you know, larger and larger and larger, and it's like nobody watches the product. Like, they need somebody who only, whose only job is to watch the 10 hours of programming every week and say, all right, before this piece of content goes to the internet, uh, you need to actually proofread and make sure it is 110% accurate so people like me don't complain about it. That's kind of all you need to do. Like, so, that, that should be someone's job, but it's not. Anyway, all right, move. Strike, grapple, Irish whip, R2 is reverse. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. HBK, the showstopper, the icon, the main event. I'm gonna hide that checklist in case we need it later. But it's pretty much win the match, hit him with the chair. Uh, it is what it is. What it is. Anyway, moving past the uh, 2K19 business, because we are at 25 days with no actual gameplay being shown yet, which is insane. I've seen gameplay from games that are out next year, and I've seen plenty of it. So, like, what in the blue hell? Really? Uh, but, moving past that to SmackDown, we have some matches announced for SmackDown. We have R-Truth taking on Almas in a singles match, which I would imagine he would have, uh, Carmella in his corner, possibly, as he takes on Almas with his manager, but we'll see. But also, they announced the main event, and here's where the, dis the, the discussion is as a wrestling fan, as a sports entertainment fan, etc., etc. The main event of SmackDown this week is going to be Brie Bella and Maurice and I'm like what in the 2010 blue hell is happening it's 2018 and even in 2010 that was not a good match so we need a ref bump here if we need uh, because he can't see me hit the how do I get a chair shot if I'm going to get disqualified and that's the question oh nice that, that was some nice animation there kudos kudos on that bit of business Abdominal stretch. Abdominable. But yes, your main event, it's 
almost like they're trying to sabotage SmackDown. Like, you have Charlotte facing off against Sonya on SmackDown. It's going to be a way better match than Maurice and Britt. And Maurice, for her time, was okay. Like, in her prime, she was okay. Like, that was an era, obviously, of a lot of just subpar two-minute matches for all of the ladies, which it is what it is, right? But she was okay at the time. Brie Bella, look, I'm sure she's a perfectly wonderful person, but Brie Bella as a wrestler and as a sports entertainer has never been good at either. And really, ideally, in this, in that business, you're good at one of the two, hopefully both. And she's not good at either. So that's kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Um. Okay, I didn't get disqualified for that. Referee being very lenient in the Attitude Era. Clearly. Clearly. Not counting at all. Is this like a no DQ match? Did I miss that part of the equation? That this was no DQ? Whatever. The Showstopper. Um, so yeah, there's, that's what's happening on, on SmackDown, and it's like, what are you even, what are you even? Like, even eight years ago, that was not a good match. So you're having it in 2018. Now, here's the thing, right? Is that certainly, with the inclusion of Daniel Bryan and The Miz, you could have all kinds of sports entertainment shenanigans to make it entertaining, right? You can do all kinds of run-ins and quick crazy stuff, and as long as you keep it short, and you don't try to present it as an actual legit wrestling match between those two because we, we we saw that Brie is certainly has a bit of ring rust and Maurice has not had a singles match in like seven years so putting those two in the main event is like put it anywhere else on that card like that that is not a main event as a legit wrestling match again you do all kinds of shenanigans and you should be okay but if you put that as a wrestling match it's going to be terrible I can't see any reality where it ends up being uh, a good match. But hey, you know, maybe they'll surprise me. I am certainly willing to give anyone the benefit of the doubt, but when you look at how uh, amazing of women's wrestlers they have on their rosters, on both rosters, on all three rosters right now, and you tell me that's going to be your main event on SmackDown, and I'm like, are you trying to sabotage SmackDown? Are you trying to make... The ratings of SmackDown look worse so that Roman on Raw looks better? Like, what is your end game here, Road Dog? What are you doing? Uh, oh wait, I had a thing there for finisher, so I should probably do that. I should probably do that and hit that sweet, a chin, music. Sweet chin music. Vintage Heartbreak Kid, says JR. Thanks, JR. Oh, I've, that is a slow drag. Like, holy crap. A very slow drag. One, a two, two count. Okay, okay, Mankind. I see you, Foley. I see you, Mrs. Foley's baby boy. I get it. Anyway, uh, that is what's going on on a Smackdown this week. I'm sure, obviously, other things, but that's your go-home show for Hell in a Cell. And your go-home show for Hell in a Cell is not going to feature either AJ Styles or, or Joe, which is who is going to be in your, you know, actual uh, main event for Smackdown for the world title. But no, we're going to get Brie and... Alright, it's just... We need to further promote our reality shows, is what you're doing there. And as someone who does not watch the reality shows, I do not care. I want quality wrestling on the wrestling show. If you could. If you will. If you please. I, I already did the chair shot trips. It's good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I got this. I got this. Or I don't got this. I thought I had this. But clearly, I am the opposite of having this. Okay, that's fine. Look, Mick. Reversed. Oh, downstairs. Nakamura. Speaking of, where the hell's Nakamura? What the, what the hell is he doing for Hell in a Cell? The elbow drop. The height of Shawn Michaels. The grit. The tenacity of this man. Boom. Busted him. Wide open and the replay times three. And that, my friends, should do it. And there's three. Historical match. Bonus objective. Mankind Achieve. never had a chance. Michaels and Hemsley saw to that. Sean Michaels paid the premium. The insurance policy has paid off. I didn't need him. Hemsley is for Sean Michaels. But yeah. There we go. And that's how the history played out.
But of course, the funny thing with the whole, you know, here's our presentation of a historical thing is that there's always certain songs they can't use, there's always certain people that they don't want to put on their game because they've been excised from history. Benoit. <laughs> so, you know, there's stuff. You're never going to get a 100% accurate uh, thing with how these games are presented. Anyway, we have Michaels and Helmsley versus Mankind and the Undertaker. Uh, get Mankind's damage to moderate, get Taker's damage to light, and a hidden objective. The Blue Blood, Hunter, a first Helmsley. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And how about this match, King? The 1997 King of the Ring winner. Hunter Hearst Helmsley teaming up with the charismatic Shawn Michaels to take on Mankind and the former WWE Champion, The Undertaker. Undertaker's not the WWE Champion because of Shawn Michaels. All four of these men have history together, and much like you, Ross, it's not pretty. Michaels. How will the giant eagle of Michaels coexist with Helmsley? Will Mankind and Undertaker who have battled on numerous occasions, be able to trust each other. This is one of the great matches that you will see only in WWE. And ladies and gentlemen, it is up next. You know, uh, as they say, how will they coexist? How will they coexist? Although, of course, they're not going to mention that three out of these four men totally worked matches in WCW. Now, I did pose the question yesterday that if that tag team match does happen, just who would Taker's tag team partner be considering that Kane's busy being the mayor? And some of y'all are saying Roman, and I'm like, well, if Roman wasn't already the champion, I could totally buy that, considering they had Roman, Taker, and Braun on a house show at Madison Square Garden, uh, like back in June or July, something like that. Uh, so it would not be that unusual for that to happen. Uh, considering that, obviously, the show in Saudi Arabia is going to kind of be a glorified house show. So, sure, have some house show shenanigans, that's fine. But, Roman's the champ now. And they're going to want to have the champ defending his title against somebody. But the other option that you guys were saying, that I think uh, makes more sense, considering what we know. Considering that they've taken Kurt Angle off of TV to train for another match. What if that match is going to be Taker and Angle versus DX? What if? Uh, that would not surprise me in the least. But again, that kind of all depends on the rumor of, um, the rumor of HBK coming back to the ring is actually true or not. And at this point, it is still very much speculation, in, in my opinion. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, I guess speaking of Roman... We have Raw tonight. It is Monday, it is a new week, and Raw is happening. And how will they further this Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns thing, considering Hell in a Cell is on Sunday? How in the blue hell is Hell in a Cell going to play out? Because I don't see a reality where they just finally had the coronation of the big dog. All right, I don't see a way in which Braun wins that title. I just don't see it. I would, I would love for it to be true. I would love it. But I just don't see it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But also, if he fails the cash-in, right, that would be the first cash-in, or the, the first failed cash-in, not involving John Cena in some way. Because he's been involved in all the other three failed cash-ins. Either as interference, or by losing it, or, you know, whatever. Or by being cashed in on, and then winning. He's been involved... In all three. So, there is that. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so that's, yeah. Raw tonight, and I'll be curious to see how the main event of Raw shapes up. And what 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 other matches they put, what other matches they book for Hell in a Cell. Because there aren't enough matches booked right now. Unless those matches are going to go super long, not enough matches booked at seven matches for, you know, a dual-branded pay-per-view, if you will. Anyway. I would imagine this thing's going to tell me when my damage on Mankind is moderate and Taker is light. Uh, so we'll just keep on keeping on on this fine Monday afternoon. Signature! Spinebuster! Uh-oh. It's pedigree time, baby. It's pedigree time on Mankind. Hook the arms. There comes Sean. Boom! Pedigree. 
Mankind is now critical. Critical. But also, Taker's still light. So, hey, Mankind, go tag out... No, the other way. Go tag out... The, tag in the dead man. Go tag in your tag team partner. Yeah, go... Yes, run. Very, very poorly run. I'm gonna tag in HBK Shawn Michaels. Now, and I'm playing as Shawn Michaels. Thank you, video game, for actually acknowledging that when you have a tag team partner and you tag out, you play as that tag team partner. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Now that we still don't know our secret objective, which is going to be uh, annoying, because I, ha I, I have not watched this match since it happened uh, back in the 90s. So, that's a problem. Okay, as Michael, strike Undertaker as a legal opponent with a chair and get DQ. So, there we go. You get your hidden objective. What? You get your hidden objective by doing, ah, oh, the damn thing. And now we have problems with Mankind and the, the Dead Man. We're having some problems here actually getting a chair and making it happen. Uh, so that's gonna be a problem. If they accidentally hit me with a chair. Also, where is... I'm gonna count it out here. Where is uh, Triple H? Not helping me at all. Okay, Taker. Here we go. Look. Come back in the ring. Come back in the ring. And get hit. And there we go. Ding, 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 gloom. My God, what a shot for the chair. In clear view of the referee. He's gonna sit up. He's gonna sit up. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Run away. Run away. 29 holes. 29 souls. And there you go. For episode one tomorrow, Triple H versus Dude Love. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching more videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.